Hello everyone, I am Qi Ji, a PhD student from Hong Kong U supervised by Dr. He Ming Cui. I will present our high-performance permission blockchain framework for data center networks. This is a joint work between Hong Kong U and Huawei. Permissioned blockchains are getting increasingly pervasive because they are explicit membership of participant nodes and the strong BFT safety guarantees are attractive to deploy and protect the traditional applications. These traditional applications usually require high performance. For example, Hong Kong Stock Exchange runs over 40,000 transactions per second with only tens of milliseconds latency. To meet this requirement, most permission blockchains run fast and network-intensive BFT as a consensus protocol. In this table, the left column is a permission blockchain frameworks, and the right column is a default BFT protocols used by the frameworks. To satisfy the stringent performance requirement, permission blockchains are often deployed in low-latency dedicated data center networks, such as AWS and Nasdaq. However, as I will show in the next slide, even running in the fast data center network, the performance of existing permission blockchains cannot satisfy traditional applications. Specifically, Hyperledger Fabric and its variants are the most popular permission blockchain frameworks. In HLF, nodes first execute transactions in random order, then order the execution results by BFT consensus. HLF can tolerate non-domestic transactions such as multi threading smart contracts with data races, and ensures that different blockchain nodes can commit consistent execution results for all transactions. However, these blockchain frameworks have two performance limitations. First, HRF shows severe performance degradation when containing transactions from different clients arrive simultaneously. Because different nodes may execute containing transactions in different orders, HRF must bot and retry the transactions. Moreover, the workflow and latency of these blockchains is bounded by the sum of the execute and order phases, making these blockchains latency twice as much as traditional applications. But because traditional applications do not need the intense BFT ordering phase. To maintain high throughput on contending transactions, other permissioned blockchains such as Quorum adopt the order execute workflow. They first order transaction contents by BFT consensus, then execute the transactions in the consensus order to avoid contending transaction abouts. However, in such a workflow, different nodes may generate inconsistent execution results for non-deterministic transactions, so this framework supports only single-thread languages. Moreover, the latency of such workflow is also twice as much as that of traditional applications. Overall, also two workflows face a paradox of high throughput or non-determinism, and their latency is both high. So we ask, can we build a faster permission blockchain framework that achieves checkmarks of all three aspects? Our answer is yes. Since blockchains consensus nodes are often deployed in data center networks, we can leverage the network ordering in data center networks to design a parallel workflow. Specifically, we introduce a new role named the sequencer that adds order hints to all clients' transactions and forwards the transactions to all nodes. Then, the ordering nodes perform BFT consensus, and in parallel, the normal nodes speculatively execute transactions, both according to the order hints. At the end, normal nodes will check if the local execute transactions match the transactions ordered by BFT and commit the matched transactions. By doing so, BIDL's latency is greatly reduced because it is bounded only by the slower one of the order and execute phases. More importantly, BIDL can achieve the same BFT safety guarantee as the two sequential workflows I just mentioned. For example, Suppose Tx is a transaction forward by the malicious sequencer, and the sequencer corrupts the sequence numbers. BIDLs can leverage the BFT protocol to shepherd the sequencer and replace it. On the next page, I will show that this workflow can also tolerate non-deterministic transactions and achieve high throughput on contending transactions. BIDL have three types of nodes. The consensus nodes run BFT consensus protocol. A sequencer adds sequence numbers as order hints to all client transactions. The normal nodes execute and commit transactions. For simplicity, we let the sequencer runs on the same host as a BFT consensus leader. All nodes are deployed inside the same dedicated data center network, and the clients can run inside or outside the network.
such as the internet. BIDL's workflow contains five phases. First, clients submit transactions to the sequencer. Then sequencer adds sequence numbers at all the hints to transactions, and use IPmatic cast to broadcast the transactions to all BIDL nodes. The consensus nodes run BFT consensus on transaction payload hashes to reduce network traffic, and the normal nodes speculatively execute transactions according to the order hints. Finally, normal nodes will commit their execution results. If the execute transaction payload hashes match, match the transaction payload hashes in the BFT consensus decision, if some transaction hashes do not match, normal nodes will execute all leftover transactions in the BFT decision. This workflow can achieve high throughput because the normal nodes now have the order hints to execute and commit containing transactions. We can also tolerate non-deterministic transactions because we also design a one-round and persistent protocol to compare execution results from different normal nodes and guarantee consistency. We carefully designed this protocol to make its time cost be masked by the three-round BFT consensus protocol running in parallel. This protocol can also prevent malicious nodes messing up with the execution results. In sum, BIDL can take all three check marks. We implement BIDL on the HRF code base. BIDL carries a new dynamic protocol to detect misbehaviors of all BIDL nodes and clients, and a new will change protocol to shepherd and replace the sequencer. These two protocols ensure that BIDL can maintain the BFT compatible security in any network, including data centers and the internet, and ensure high performance even in the presence of malicious participants. We integrate four BFT protocols into BIDL, and we also implement two performance optimizations. First, we use consensus on hash and IPmatic cast to accelerate the BFT protocol with only few lines of code modifications on these protocols. Second, we implement an in-memory key-value cache to minimize the disk I.O. time cost for our workflow. We compare BIDL with three baseline blockchain systems, Hyperledge Fabric, Stream Chain, and Fast Fabric. All baseline frameworks are also incorporated with about two blue optimizations for a fair comparison. Uh, we use the typical data center network settings and representative benchmarks. We now present BIDL's performance and its robustness on non-determinism, containing transactions, malicious participants, and packet losses. For other evaluation questions, please read our paper. Our evaluation shows that BIDL achieved about 60% lower latency on average than HRF and FF. This is because BIDL's parallel workflow makes its execute and order phases run in parallel. BIDL also achieved about three times higher throughput on average than, H than HRF and FF. One main reason is that BIDL has order hints for executing transactions. So BIDL does not need the time-consuming MCC check in the commit phase of the executing order workflow for resolving containing transactions. StreamChain achieved the lowest latency among all evaluated frameworks because it eliminates blocks and processes transactions one by one in a stream fashion. When the number of nodes increases, BIDL's workflow's latency is constantly low due to our implementation optimizations in the last slide. When the ratio of containing transactions increases, BIDL's performance is high because BIDL speculatively executes transactions according to order hints and eliminates containing transaction abouts. Moreover, BIDL maintains the consistent execution results among nodes uh, when non-deterministic transaction increases. Since non-determinism is rare in practice, Figure 4 shows that the performance penalty of tolerating non-determinism in BIDL is small. We now consider two malicious cases. First, a malicious node in the network discusses itself as a sequencer and keeps broadcasting forged transactions to other nodes. In this case, BIDL recovers to normal performance quickly with changing only a few wheels and denying the malicious participants. Second, the malicious BFT leader or sequencer is proposing invalid transactions and corrupting the sequence numbers. In this case, both BIDL and HRF can retain high performance after real changes, where other evaluated permission blockchains are not designed to handle such cases, because they are mainly designed for the CFT setting. We also proactively injected packet losses in our cluster, and we found that BIDL is, was still fast, and we need only to retransmit and execute 
the manner lost the transactions. In principle, BIDL's entire workflow ensures BIT safety regardless of the packet losses and other tough scenarios. These tough scenarios will at most affect BIDL's performance, but please read our paper for a proof. Overall, we present BIDL, the first high-performance permissioned blockchain framework optimized for dedicated data center networks, while still ensures safety in any type of network. BIDL is complementary to existing work. We believe BIDL has broad future applications. For example, we can leverage HTBFT and BIDL's order hints to further parallel the transaction executions within BIDL's execute phase. Thank you, and I'm happy to take questions.